Okay, Debbie. You got this. The zombie, th this, this viking was killed with a viking sword. What? Oh my god, this one too. No, wait, no, that's a Mayan. Weird. Oh, it looks like there's a fight going on up here. See? Where you at? Let me get you. Oh, well. Let's help him out. Yeah. And they're dead. Oh, shit. Okay. What's the dark house? I think that's part of the Mayan underworld. Okay, so we're dealing with Mayan Underworld cult. Basically, yeah. Uh, I mean, that is really all you hear about the Mayans, you know? They sacrifice shit. You never really hear about, you know, their ecology or their... Whoa! Okay, get away! Get away! Get away! Fucking a cob! Oh my god, you didn't tell me how bad they smelled. Be close. Okay, if there's stuff on the ground, get away from it. Nice of him to label that for us. Are you Mr. Runes or Runes? I mean, is that a bee thing? Must be a bee thing. No, no, I think this one's this one's actually like laying down runic circles. Or only, you know, not runes because that's a Viking thing. But you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean Summer Principle. Look, I think that I think we can still call them runes, the same way we can call like, you know, Greek letters letters. I don't fucking know. But I think the line going across it, that's, that's I think that's B thing. Yeah. By the way, when the line reaches the end, get out of it. That's when it goes off. Okay, right, good to know. I was wondering what that meant. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, lines. Lines and runes. Fuck. Ah oh, shit, look. Oh, wait, what? What? You have to do both at the same time? What? Ah, oh, fuck. He knocked me into it. Oh, shit. He knocked me into it. Don't let him do that to you. Oh, I really hate this guy. The fucking death propeller he's got. You know, I'm going to have words with, uh, with old Joe. Old Joe really should have warned... Uh... Well, he should have warned you. I wasn't really there. Well, if he warned me, he would have warned you at the same time. Yeah, that's true. Ah! Keep moving! Stop! Oh, shit. Ah. Yeah, stay down. While you were studying Mayan magics, I practiced the blade. No. Come on! How many opportunities am I ever gonna get to say that? There are events that are supposed to happen. Have happened. The Wabanaki and the Vikings should defeat the Mayans. There should be a celebration on the island. The Wabanaki should think the pale skinned saviors are spirit totems. They should. This is fun. This is On the island that will be called Solomon, the native Wabanaki tribes protect a holy ward against an invading force of sun worshippers from the far south. These Mayans march with monsters. The Akab, the Akab, feel the dread weight of the name on the tongue. Oh no. Oh, come on in. Oh. Look up the thing. That's. That's a cage that's open. They came here in cages. Oh dear. They came here in cages. Okay. Let me get them. Oh, oh shit, they're leaving. They're exploding like ticks, only with corrupted blood. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, that is nasty. That's a big one. No wonder the Akab are so so much of a hassle here. They're like they're a non-native species. Damn invasive species. You know, it's like in Australia, the ecology got overrun there by fucking bunny rabbits. Imagine what a cob are gonna do. Shit! Um... Uh, where did it go? There, where it's exploding. Oh, shit. I feel like we're running out of ground here. Uh, we should probably, I don't know, see if we can, like, kill this, the next batch of little bugs somewhere else. Oh, hey! Hey, bugs! Over here! Hey, bring them over... Okay. Um... This is an issue. I hope there aren't too many of these, more of these things before it becomes an even bigger issue. We are running out of space here. Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking. A cob charge. I hate fucking a cob charges. I just hate the fucking a cob. Kill it faster. I'm killing as fast as I can. Oh, ah. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. Good thing there's no ontological inertia. Yeah. Good thing there's no that thing you just said. Oh my god, is that a Mayan ship? I didn't know they had ships like that. Time Me neither. Short, and the darkness had to be stopped. My club, my spear, my Oh, sword. that guy looks important. And Oh boy. Surprisingly similar to Viking designs. Is he. Is he a battle mage? What the. Apparently, just, Mayans had them. I just got that in my head. Yep, yep, that comes with it. Okay, he's shooting at us. Take him out. He's over here. Uh. It looks like this guy's a bit of a teleporter. I hate teleporters. Oh shit, look over look where he is. Yep. Ah. Where is he? Here he is. Ah! Uh, Run to the side! Serpentine! Serpentine! So the Mayans had magic like this. It just battle mages. That was just a Mayan thing. I mean, I guess. I mean, you don't hear too much of them, though. 
Not even in, like, occult sources. Why is he blue? Dabba dee, dabba die. No, but why is he blue? I think maybe it's like ritual body paint. They had woad? They, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to look this up once I wake up. Slash return to the present. So, oh, oh what? What? What's what? he doing? Oh god, I think he's he's, he's... he's swallowing their souls? Um... I don't think we want to touch the ones that are glowing. They explode. Look, they explode. Okay. Don't touch the things that will explode. The ones that start moving slowly and glowing, get away from them. Alright. We don't want a piece of this glowy. Okay. He's almost dead. Thank God him. Come on. Yeah! Oh, wait, no. I thought he was dead. I said almost dead. Ah. Uh. If you watch him, you can tell where the fireballs are about to fall. I'm too busy running for my life. You gotta learn to be a little more cooler head, cool-headed in combat. What about me suggests I have the capacity to be cool-headed? Fair point. Yeah, thank you. I think. The Norsemen will explain that they were sent by a vision from their own gods told to go west and help a dark-skinned people defeat the Yatan with weapon gifted by Odin himself. They will tell tales of setting sail and raiding a small monastery on a desolate island outside of Scotland, where they found a strange device they can only liken to a sword. On their journey, a noxious fog overtook them, but the blazing light of the strange weapon kept it at bay. A few months later, the fog will surround the island. The invaders bring sorcery in greater numbers. Hope flees the Wabanaki, but returns via the oddest messengers. Ornate longships take the beach. Norse screams of bloodlust sound. The Wabanaki are joined by fair strangers whose leader wields a bizarre sword that glows in the dim. I saw it again! Did you see it? Uh, no. It was big. Oh man, I was distracted by all the murder. It was very, very big. Welp. Into the glowy magic anus we go. There, you see it now? Yep, that's... That's... What the fuck is that? I know they still use their magic to send us ahead, but you know what? Yeah. I guess he was back here. The Wabanaki will offer the visitors their hospitality, homes, and food. The Norsemen will stay for a year. Friendships will be formed. Lusty Vikings will hearken to the exotic beauty of the native women, and blood will mix most friendly. That would be the last time that ever happened. 
Our wisdom flows so sweet, taste and see. Transmit, initiate Odin's signal. Receive, initiate Kitaki Manitou frequency. Make time work for you, not against you. Initiate the Atsamna protocol. Witness the darkness war. Initiate folklore dissection. Focusing aperture. What is time to us? We stand outside. The blasphemous grubs arrived in New England during the darkness wars brought by those renegade Mayans who turned to the ones who sleep. They took the insectoid horrors from the jungles of Guatemala, where they were birthed from malignant dreaming. The Mayans called them a cob, called them darkness. Oh, so they came from Guatemala. Good to know. Yeah. You know, we should probably be worried about those things being down in Guatemala. You know, they might still be there. No, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure there's, like, worse things in Guatemala that eat them. Right, they must be part of the supernatural ecosystem there. Yeah, it's just like just like Gary Gygax talked about. Eh? Oh, you know, Gary Gygax, he had this whole philosophy of creating adventures called, like, the Dungeon Ecology. Huh. Like, you know, random monsters had other monsters to eat, and... You know, other things that preyed upon them. Huh. They're actually really involved. And then there's things like gelatinous cubes, which are evolutionary adapted to graph paper. <laughs> they were created by bored wizards. Just like the mimics. These aren't quite as bad as the uh, as the other one we fought. Yeah. Well, they have some of the same tricks. Yeah, but none of the talent. All these things should happen. They have happened. They are happening. But low warning. Temporal disturbance detected. A thread comes undone. It pulls and frays. The tapestry tears into the fangs of the hound of the nameless days. History is suspect. Time is volatile. Footprints vanish and the past is uncertain. It could all come undone. What will you do, sweetling? We will see you in time. Initiate the secret histories. Negative. Engage the secret histories. You must go, sweetling. Soon your tenses will tangle. Time is merely another dimension. There is right and left. There is the x-axis and the y. There is past and the present. You have only to walk sideways like a crab down the curve. Step. There is but one step, and it is crab. There's a lot of history left in that valley. But yeah, like this. So we could. So the, the, but like. We could not. Ah. We could un ah. we could unhappen this. Ah ah 